Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Reka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kwatazab Zayan from the GMS branch in Holland. And I'm coming back through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai with another lesson, with another prayer. And Lord willing, this prayer is edifying. Gone. So, yeah, man. In this prayer, I want to go into the fact that this past week, uh, I was in a meeting and there was a certain uh, difficult situation that occurred. And one of the people, one of the Edomites, they said, okay, so who is going to give the Solomon's judgment? So... I'm living in Holland, so in, in Dutch they would say, who is going to give uh, Solomon's, um, what was it, Solomon's ordeal. So now if you translate it in, in the English, then it would say uh, the Solomon's judgment, you know. So that's a, that's a saying over here, and I believe it's also a saying in, in America or, or where they speak English. Because I googled it and this is what I found out. This is uh, according to Google. I googled Solomon's judgment and wiki and then it says the judgment of Solomon is a story from the Hebrew Bible in which Solomon ruled between two women both claiming to be the mother of a child. Solomon revealed their true feelings and relationship to the child by suggesting the baby be cut, cut in half, each woman to have half. You see, so this is um, with this is in English because I looked it up in uh, English, Solomon's Judgment, and this is the part where I looked it up in Dutch. That's why if you look here, it says um, NL dot m dot wikipedia and then i translated it so it says solomon's judgment a solomonic judgment is a verdict or verdict in a difficult dispute that shows wisdom and wit neither of the wearing parties appears to have an advantage in this ruling the judge then uh, deduced deduces from the reaction of the wearing parties which party is within its right. The expression is taken from a Bible story in which King Solomon clear, cleverly renders judgment on a difficult legal question. So let's go to that um, instance. First Kings 3 and 16. Until 28. So yeah, man, let's go to 1 Kings 3, verse 16. And it reads, Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king, and stood before him. And the one woman, woman said, O my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house. And I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also, and we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night, because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me, which thine handmaid slept and laid in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son and the dead is thy son. 
and this said no but the dead is thy son and the living is my son thus they spake before the king then said the king the one said this is my son that liveth and thy son is dead and the other said nay but thy son is the dead and my son is the living and the king said bring me a sword and they brought a sword before the king and the king said divide the living child in two and give half to the one and half to the other then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king for her bowels yearned upon her son and she said O my lord give her the living child and in no wise slay it but the other said let it be neither mine nor thine but divide it then the king answered and said give her the living child and in no wise slay it she is the mother thereof and all israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged and they feared the king for they saw the wisdom of yahweh was in him to do judgment gone yeah man so this is a show of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, so King Solomon, he prayed. He prayed for wisdom and knowledge so that he can judge such a great people. This is um, Second Chronicles 1, verse 7. In that night did Yahweh appear unto Solomon and said unto him, as what I shall give thee. And Solomon said unto the Most High, Thou hast showed great mercy unto David my father, and hast made me to reign in his stead. Now, O Yahweh, my power, let thy promise unto David my father be established, for thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth in multitude. <laughs> give me now wisdom and knowledge, that I may go out and come in before this people, for who can judge this thy people that is so great? And the Most High said to Solomon, Because this was in thine heart, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thine enemies, neither yet hast asked long life, but hast asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people, over whom I have made thee king, wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee, neither shall there any after thee have the like. Gone. So this is the prayer that King Solomon um, sent to the Most High, and his, his wish was granted, his prayer was answered. You see, and this is the, the, the also the prayer that I translated. Come on, so without further ado, let's go into the prayer, which is in Second Chronicles one verse ten. Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people, for who can judge this thy people that is so great? Come on, so this is a prayer for Solomon's judgment, so that you can be uh, um, skilled in judging matters that are difficult you see so what i would like to start off with is babkisha 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 yao basham yao shai aita which babkisha is please babkisha 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 is please 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 yahweh is the name of the heavenly father bahasham is in the name and yao shai is the name of the person who everybody ignorantly calls jesus Gone. So, Aita, Chakama, Wa, Madai, Tan, Laya, Wa, Atazaha, Lapanya, Ha, Aima, Haza, Wa, Abawaha, Kaya, Maya, Ya, Shapat, Ata, Aimaka, Haza, Ha, Kadawal. Gone. So now with the understanding, Aita, which is now. Uh, Chakama, which is wisdom. Wa, Madai. Wa is end. Madai is knowledge. Tanlaya. Tan is give. It comes from the word Natan. Laya, which La is to and Ya is me. 
wa atazaha wa is end atazaha is go forth lapanya is before ha aima ha is the and aima is people so it's basically the people haza this which is this wa abawaha wa is end abawaha is enter kaya is for maya is who can't look at because that was uh, satan uh, intruding in this lesson can so where did i stop yashapat yashapat is judge ata aimaka ata which is to point out something because in this case it doesn't really have a a, a, a definition because i looked it up in the blue letter bible in the strong concordance and it doesn't have any literal meaning right here aimaka aima is people and the ka in the end makes it possessive makes it die people haza is this ha gadawal ha is the gadawal is great gone so this is a prayer that you can send up to the most high to ask him wisdom knowledge and understanding to judge difficult situations just like how king solomon you know judge this matter which was very difficult you see they even have a painting of this matter let me see you see the judgment of solomon is an oil and panel painting by flemish painter franz flores which had a you know they whitewashed everything so they have a so-called white man in this painting But Yaratiza, I hope this video is edifying, that this prayer was edifying, and I want to say Kalhalal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham Rekha Kodash, Shalom Akyam.